Hello, you golfing legends. It's your boy, Top Bloke here. How are you doing? Not still got my beard. It's coming off. I fucking hate it. How do people put up with beards? It's beyond me. It's like a Brillo pad on my face. It's horrible. But anyway, here we are in a beautiful day in uh, London town. And uh, it's currently day. Can you hear the sirens in the background? That's because we've got like a load of zombies going around the streets eating each other. So it's currently, what, day 723 of lockdown. And there's no signs of us coming out of it at the moment. But, you know, you've got to make the most of it. I love being at home. I'm, I'm not the type of person that likes socialising, as you probably can see. Um, so anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a garden simulator out of uh, a duvet and an egg timer as a launch runner. No, I'm only joking. What's going on about these second-hand club videos? Like, people are going crazy on them. They like getting so many views. It's like, um, what's that stacked golf? I was quite disappointed when I went there because for obvious reasons, stacked golf in the name. But nah, actually, it was like, all right, you know, I, I think a couple of nice guys that do that uh, channel, but um, I can't, I saw it once and that's it. Going around looking at clubs and second hand clubs, I don't get it myself, but I've got loads of second hand clubs in, or old clubs in my shed. So let's go down and have a look and see what we can find. And perhaps you can tell me if any of them are worth anything or should just chuck them. Come this way. Dum de 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 dum. Right, let's go in this shed. Got loads of old crappy clubs in here. Let's grab them. Okay, guys, let's have a look at some of these clubs. Right, this is number one wood by Jack Nicklaus. I got this a couple of years ago. Just fancy getting a wooden club. I was, I think I was watching a video by Bradley Hughes and he was saying if you get a wooden club to practice with, then it, you know, it can make you better. So this one here is a, a club I got off of uh, channel Seb on Golf. I don't know if you know him. He's about two foot tall. He gave me one. No, it's no joke. It's a kiddies club. Another kiddies club. Let's have a look at here. This is super nice. Never heard of that club before, mate, in my life. I don't know what happened. I don't know. I've acquired this. Aha. Uh -huh. Is it a Scotty Cameron? No, it's a hippo. <laughs> I don't know where I got this from. I'll do a test soon. I'm going to do a hippo versus a Scotty Cameron. What do you reckon? Aha, uh -huh, these are nice. I like these clubs. A couple of years ago, I was in a pub... Some woman come up to me, she goes, my husband's just died. I know, I saw you hear that. She goes, well, I know you like golf, because you always talk about golf. Uh, I've got a set of clubs that you used to play, and I was going, oh, I was getting, I was obviously a bit sad for her, but I was excited that I might, you know, he might have just bought a new set of Callaways or whatever. But no, these Ben Hogan Apex grinds. Tell what, though, you can hit one of these, you can hit anything. Look how small the head is. So, grip's a bit worn. These I bought in 1998 or somewhere like that, some time like that. Um, at the time I was playing some uh, Callaway Big Bertha irons. I thought that was about a thousand pounds at the time, that was expensive. But in all like people I was playing golf with, they was all taking the piss out of them. So, you know, old man's club, so they suggested I buy these. I couldn't hit them at the time. Tezoid. I think old Faldo used them, I'm not too sure. What about this then? A nine wood, nine wood tailor made burner. I tell you what, these, these are great, these clips. You seen the shaft on these, bubble shaft. Again, I, I bought these, I bought this, a driver and a five wood. Look at that shaft. And the driver, I actually love the driver. This is so easy to get off the ground. I still use my five wood in this. I don't know where it is, I think it's upstairs. Another random putter, don't know what that is. This I got off of eBay about five years ago, 30 quid. If it's a non-conforming driver, I read up about it and I thought oh, I'll get one of these, but I can't hit it, it's so long, the shaft is so stiff, break your wrists. So yeah. What have we got here? 
of a Ben Hogan wedge. A McGregor Tour Series MX200. Don't know I got that one. Someone must have given me that. Not so old. I think it's about five years old. This Titleist 913D2. Still use it now and again. What else do we have here? Have you seen these before? I actually prefer this to my Scotty Cameron. I've gone back to using this again. It's a never compromise. What do you think? I really like it. Super nice. What else we got here? Tezoid. Ah, look. Two iron. Bought a set of these a few years ago off of eBay. Blades, pure blades. Again, mainly just to practice. Like if you can hit these things, you can hit anything. Like the uh, nice looking club, isn't it? It's quite unusual. It's quite squared at the toe, isn't it? Oh, here's uh, another one here, another wooden club. A number two. It's called a. Let's have a look. Seeker. Does anyone know about these? Again, I like to practice with this. <coughs> it's my free wood. I snapped it. I was wondering, right, could I take the head off of this? Because I've got a Cobra hybrid. Could I put this in my hybrid shaft? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour of my second hand clubs. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. Stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.